Welcome to this tutorial on using the DS18B20 temperature sensor with the Arduino. If we have a look at the datasheet we can see the DS18B20 is a very small simple device for measuring the temperature with a range of minus 55 to 125 degrees C thus is suitable for making simple weather stations with the Arduino. There are two advantages to using the DS18B20. It only needs one pin for the communication and secondly you can connect multiple units together on the same one wire. Let's have a look at how we're going to connect the 18B20 to the Arduino. As I said it's extremely simple. We only need to use one Arduino digital I.O. pin. I'm happen I happen to be using pin number 46 here. So on the Maxim 18B20 we connect ground to the ground pin on the Arduino and rather counterintuitively we also connect the VDD pin 3 on the 18B20 to the ground pin as well. This is because the power to the device is actually supplied via the data pin so the only wires you need running to the temperature sensor are a ground wire and a data wire. You don't need to connect anything else to the supply pin so we connect VDD and ground together and both of those run to the Arduino ground pin and then we connect the DQ, the middle pin, the data pin to any Arduino I.O. pin, pin 46 in my case and then you need to pull up this um, this data pin to the Arduino plus 5 volts using a 47k resistor. So overall we have the Arduino 5 volt pin via a 46.7k resistor to pin 2 on the sensor and pins 1 and 3 on the sensor just go back to the Arduino ground pin. Next we need to set up the uh, pro programming tool chain so that we've got all the bits we need. The DS18B20 uses the Dallas one wire protocol um, so you need to go to this page here and get hold of the one wire library which can be downloaded from this page. You also need the uh, the Dallas temperature sensor library which can be got from this page. These two libraries together need to be installed on your Arduino installation in the libraries folder. So here's the Dallas temperature file and here's the one wire file. This means that we can use these in our program. Just to recap, here are the two URLs that you need to use to get to the two libraries, the onewire.h library and the Dallas temperature temperature.h library. Right, let's do a little bit of programming. I'm going to fire up the Arduino environment and the first thing we need to do is import those libraries. The libraries we Dallas temperature and one wire we copied into the libraries folder of our Arduino installation. So to import those into the Arduino environment we just use the import library function Dallas temperature and one wire. The next thing we need to do uh, is create instances of the one wire and the Dallas temperature classes. So we do the one wire one and we know it's pin 46 because uh, that was the pin we chose. It could be any IO pin we could use. I just happen to be using 46. And then we need to instantiate the Dallas temperature class so we need to pass one wire to that as a parameter. Uh, then we can begin the normal Arduino programming so we'll have a, a setup and the only thing we need to do in setup at the moment is initialize the sensors and we do that with sensors dot begin and of course we need a loop um, for the moment I'm not going to do anything in my loop program so we'll just verify that compiles and that's compiled and we can upload that to the Arduino that's connected to this computer. 
Now, at the moment, this program doesn't actually do a lot because we're not actually take, uh, getting any data from the sensor and we're certainly not reporting that data back in any way. So that's the first thing. I, other thing I need to do is get the serial port going. So we'll do the serial.begin as you might expect and let's just check everything's working which I always like to do when I'm writing a program so we'll do serial print line hello world and then we'll do a delay of a second I always do this when I'm start using a new library with Arduino just to check it's got through the setup okay and everything's working as you would expect so we'll compile that sketch we'll send it up to our Arduino that's connected on COM15 and we'll open up the serial port monitor and as you might expect the serial port monitor is saying hello world to us once every second so we now the next thing we need to do is actually do something with our temperature sensor so I'll get rid of that line and the first thing we need to do is request the temperatures which is done with this line of code this doesn't actually return anything it just sets up the data in a buffer ready for us to read so I'm now going to create uh, a variable called current temp which is a float and current temp I'm going to fill in with the temperature and you do this with another command which looks like this and this will go and get the temperature in degrees centigrade for sensor number zero now if you remember you can have multiple DS18B20 devices connected together uh, in a daisy chain and if you have more than one uh, then the first one is get temperature C by index zero and the next one is temperature one so I could do something like that and then and that and so forth if I had three connected together but I've only got one on here for the minute so I'll just get temperature by index naught actually that's a lie there are two connected to here so let's do that bear with me so there are two sensors daisy chained together and I'm going to read this, the temperature from the first sensor into a variable called current temp 0 and I'm going to read the temperature from the second sensor into a variable called current temp 1. Now all I need to do is return that data back up the serial port so that we can see it. Just to explain quickly what these commands are doing, first of all we're going to print temperature 0 equals to the serial port, then we're going to print a tab which is done with the backslash t, and then we're going to print out the contents of variable current temp2, print another tab, print temp1 equals another tab, and then the contents of current temperature variable 1. So in our loop command we request the temperatures from the sensor which puts them into a buffer we then use the get temp c by index command to read the temperature from sensor 0 into this variable and the temperature from sensor 1 into this variable and then we report that information out via the serial port now if we try and compile this we suddenly find we've got an error well what I've done is I've, I've not actually use the right name there so that should be like that because we want to use this variable for 
temperature sensor 0 and this variable for temperature sensor 1. We'll verify that and that compiles and we'll push it up to the Arduino. And we'll open up the serial port monitor and see what we've got. You can see in the serial port number monitor that one of my temperature sensors is outdoors and that's reading 5 degrees Celsius. The other temperature sensor is indoors in my kitchen which is rather cold and that's reading 14 degrees Celsius. So just to recap, uh, we need the one wire library, we need the Dallas temperature library, the which are fetched from these two pages respectively. We oops, made a mess of that, haven't I? We in the setup we do one command to initialize the sensors, and in the loop command we request the temperatures and we get the sensors from we get the values in degree C from each sensor using this command here and then we print them out to the serial port and that concludes this tutorial on how to use the DS18B20 temperature sensor with the Arduino